Greetings, fellow freethinkers. The event you're about to watch was hosted by the Centre for Inquiry Ontario, an educational and outreach organization dedicated to promoting and defending science, reason, and free inquiry in every area of human endeavour. My name is Justin Trazier, and as Executive Director of CFI Ontario, I would like to take a minute to tell you about us. Our centre, located in the heart of downtown Toronto, is the first Canadian branch of CFI and is our nation's first dedicated meeting and event space for humanists and free thinkers. Our mandate encompasses a robust public education presentation series throughout Ontario. Campus outreach as we support a growing network of student free thought groups. Community outreach and social services to provide humanistic alternatives to religiously monopolized services and activities. And a lending library and media centre that, among other things, broadcasts videos like this across the planet. To learn more, please visit us at cfiontario.org. To get on our email list or to learn how you can support our movement or get a free thought group started at your campus, simply contact us today at info at cfiontario.org. Thank you for your time and I hope you enjoy the video. has gathered you here tonight, Freethinkers Association of Ryerson of uh, Canada, uh, tonight for a talk on God the Failed Hypothesis. So I'd like to thank uh, the people from the CFI, from the Freethinkers Associations of Ryerson in Canada, uh, the Ryerson community, members of the public who may have seen our posters. Uh, thank you all for coming. You have no idea how proud we are that those posters are up. Um, um, I'd also like to thank uh, any and all media who are here, because uh, as everybody knows, in a democracy, um, without the media, these sorts of events uh, go unheeded, and uh, I suppose that the reason that a lot of you are here is that you understand how important it is to have a voice of dissent in a democracy, otherwise it's not called a democracy anymore. So that's what we're here to do. Um, before I uh, introduce tonight's speaker, I would like to uh, introduce uh, CFI Ontario President and the driving, organizing principal, uh, the, the man that does most of the work and keeps most of us uh, on an even keel uh, for these events. Uh, this is, by the way, our third event in three weeks. Last week we did uh, Dr. David Kopsel, uh, which was South Park and Blasphemy, and for those of you uh, who missed that, and you missed quite a, a fun show. Uh, and the one before, uh, of course, was uh, Dr. Brian Alters and Dr. Dan Brooks on uh, evolution uh, and creationism is creationism ruining science education. That was also very, very enlightening. And I expect tonight to, uh, to be no different. So um, let's bring up Justin Trottier, uh, president of the CFI Ontario chapter, and uh, he'll say a few words, and then I'll come back and introduce tonight's speaker. Thanks again for all of you uh, coming out to this, this event tonight. Just a few uh, brief words. First of all, on behalf of the Centre for Inquiry and CFI Ontario, the new branch in Canada, I want to say uh, hello and again thank you for, for joining us. I want to tell you a bit about CFI. Uh, CFI Ontario, which is located about 10 minutes from here, it's uh, just south of U of T's downtown campus at 216 Beverly, open 1 to 9 every day of, of the year so far. Um, uh, you're invited to drop in at any, during any of those times. Uh, I want to give you a brief rundown of what we do. Uh, we have five main mandates. The first is programming. Um, we do, and John has gone through some of the events that we've had. Since the inaugural on March 10th, we've had about seven events, and many of them on campuses. Two more tomorrow and, and Saturday, in fact. Um, we also do social services. Social services and community outreach. That's a major area. We're trying to prove that um, humanists and atheists and free thinkers can offer viable uh, social alternatives to the mainstream religious services of, of, of the day. As one example, instead of Alcoholics Anonymous, we provide a program called uh, Secular Organizations for Sobriety, for people who are secularists, atheists, free thinkers, and, and want a, a more free thinking approach um, um, to, uh, to giving up on alcohol, as one example among many of the programs that we have. We also do, obviously, campus outreach in another area, and political advocacy, our big political advocacy campaign the last year and a bit, and one that we're getting a lot of traction on these days, is ending the discriminatory funding of the Catholic separate school system, which is currently the only, uh, currently Ontario is the only province in, in Canada, the only jurisdiction in the Western world, as I like to say, in which this practice, which costs taxpayers about half a billion dollars and has all of us in this room paying for the education of, of a minority uh, religious uh, minority group, although the largest
largest minority, I might say, in, in Ontario, uh, is just appalling. And we have been censured twice, censored twice by the United Nations for human rights violations, in fact, because of it. So I don't want to go into that too much. If you're interested in that, you can find out more about it. It's one of the big causes that we have. We believe free speech and the right to uh, freedom of expression are paramount in our society, uh, hence events like this, which are controversial in nature. Um, hence the next event, um, which is with Tom Flynn tomorrow and Saturday, uh, called, I forget the name exactly, but it's about Easter and the origins of Easter and sort of the, some of the pagan roots that people kind of have forgotten about that, that holiday. Um, just lastly, uh, if you do support what we do, we encourage you to become a friend of the center for a pretty uh, reasonable fee, especially for students. Uh, you get into all these events for free. Uh, you get um, discount subscriptions on magazines, on conferences, on books, um, all sorts of pretty good uh, incentives. And you support a, a pretty worthy cause, defending science, reason, and free inquiry. Um, books will be for sale, I'll just mention that quickly, for $30 following the event. And of course, they'll be signed by Dr. Stenger. And, uh, and finally, we will have a display outside, um, just on the door on 